Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show how to make uh, Christmas light beads or holiday light beads um, out of soft glass. And this one is for Veronica who requested this video and so I hope you enjoy. I'm going to make these in two different ways, um, vertically along a mandrel and then horizontally hanging down from a mandrel. And so I'm starting out with just making a small bead um, for the top, you know, screw in light bulb part um, with metallic black. And I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. But you can also use silver plum or any kind of black or color that'll get a, sil a silvery sheen or shine to it. Um, for that top part and this actually I didn't really even have to do anything just the residual heat made it um, reduce enough to get shiny but uh, right against that little bead at the top I am adding some um, dark transparent blue it could even be cobalt but it doesn't look dark enough to be cobalt but I'm just making a blue and um, just make as much glass as you think you want your light bulb to be uh, long ways. And then I'm adding a little more mass at the top. So basically just kind of a long barrel attached to that black. And I'm just gonna melt this all in. And then I'm just gonna shape it, um, which is kind of like the way you make a bicone shape, except for it would be a little off-centered um, to make it look like a light bulb. Um, one of those Christmas lights. And so I'm just working on the end there. I want to make sure I get a nice dimpled bead end. And so I'm working on that part first. And then I'll go back and work on the uh, back side next to the, um, like the screw in top part. And so I'm showing two ways of just rolling it on a Marver and then also rolling it on my L Marver. So just a couple different ways of how to roll. Um, either way is fine, whatever tools you have. And so you could see that that um, that, that little screw in part of the um, bead is already getting a little shiny. So I really didn't have to do anything with it. But if you do find that your color, your metallic color, um, is not shining up, just reduce it a little bit at the very end. That's all you have to do. Oh, and I'm sorry, I'm, I went off screen here a little bit, but I'm just shaping that a uh, backside and just trying to get the shape I want. And then I'm heating up that um, the screw in part and I'm just barreling that out at the end. So I barrel that kind of straight Make sure that bead hole is nice and dimpled on that side also. And after that's all done, I just take my little razor blade and I just work, I heat, I spot heat and work around like a little spiral. So it's like a little, um, the screw in part for your light bulb. And that's all I'm doing here. I'm just making a diagonal spiral. And here I zoomed in and slowed down and there is the little blue light bulb. And so that was the horizontal hole one. And now I'm gonna work on the vertical one. And this video is actually real time, so I didn't speed it up or slow it down except for at the end when I closed in on the um, finished bead. Um, but basically this is all done in real time. And of course it could take you a little bit longer uh, a little bit faster depending on um, how well the glass work wants to work for you so that can make a difference so I'm just making a little uh, wider barrelish bead for the little uh, screw in top for this one and I'm gonna actually uh, put the little indents in it um, but you don't have to do this right now you could do this at the end because I found when I was doing the rest of my uh, bead here that um, I actually had to go back and reinforce some of those because the little indents did melt out a little bit. Um, so you don't have to do this right now, but I'm doing it just to get it set. So I put just little um, angular lines, like three or four angular lines on either side of the mandrel 
or, or of that bead, I'm sorry, and then uh, I flatten the top a little bit. And so this one's going to be green. And so what I usually do when I'm attaching something to uh, a bead to hang off, I usually add a little bit of color first, and then I meld that in and smoosh it down a little bit to center it up. So I'm trying to center it with that bead that's on the mandrel and also making sure that attachment is really fused in um, so I don't take any chances later of it cracking off. And that's just the way I do it. You might do it differently. You might just add all your glass at once and that's fine, whatever works for you. And so now I'm just heating this green rod and adding as much as I think I'll need to make um, the size and shape of the little light that I wanna make for this. Um, so this is all up to you, um, how fat you want your light. Um, and of course, more is always better because you can pull out, uh, you know, pull down, taper down more glass and remove it if you think your light bulb's too fat. Um, if you have to add glass, then you're basically starting over uh, reshaping the whole thing again. So it's always good to have more than, than two less. So um, I'm just trying to keep this centered and I'm basically heating it up into a ball. And so I want it all melded in with that base speed and um, just all heated. And I'm trying to, I'm tilting it back and forth and trying to spot heat it and getting it to be a nice ball that's centered right on top of that um, bead that's on the mandrel. And so that's all I'm doing here. I'm tilting it back and forth using gravity, using a little heat to make the glass move in cert on certain sides, like on the left side, uh, to round it out. And so I'm basically, I basically want just about a perfectly rounded ball. And then after that, I hold it upside down and I start pulling out a little bit. And I, and I think I noticed that it's not really totally centered. So I'm gonna take a tool and try to fix that up. But I start pulling it out, tapering, out, tapering it out, and now I'm gonna try to straighten it because I noticed the one side was a little fatter and I'm just moving that glass to make sure the, the it stays all centered up because it wasn't quite centered. And so just take your time with it and get it to the shape you want. Now I'm gonna heat that again. It's looking pretty centered now. And I'm gonna heat that up again and I'm gonna pull out again, but I, I picked up the wrong rod. I picked up my, my shiny black rod. So I'm gonna put that down and pick up my green one again. There we go. And it's not hot enough. I gotta get a little hot so it can touch that glass and pull it. And so now I'm gonna pull it out a little bit more again. It's almost there, but not quite. And then I get, melt in that little nub a little bit. And I pretty much have the shape of my light. And I'm just fixing that. It wasn't sticking out enough on one side. I was heating that. And now I'm redefining those little um, diagonals that I said melted out. So you could do these at the end if you want. And then I'm flattening the top a little bit. And here's the close up of that one. And so there is a little green light that hangs downward. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.